Hi, this is Adam Martin. Today I'm going to show you how to export graphics from Data Wrapper for use on our website or to send to um, other sites or new sites along the wire. The first thing you need to do is go to the Data Wrapper homepage, which is at datawrapper.de. Um, everyone should already have a username and password. Um, if you need a username or password, just go ahead and send me an email and I'll get you signed up under the University of Maryland account. So once you come to the home page here, you just go to Dashboard. We're going to see all the recently edited graphics and all the recently published graphics. There's a good chance you'll be able to find the graphic you're looking for right here. You can also go to Team Charts, and this will show you every graphic in the University of Maryland account. Um, this has got a nice search feature where you can just search by keyword um, or headline. I'm going to go ahead and look up the word heat um, because the graphic I'm looking for deals with temperature. And the search does take a minute, so we're going to wait for it to return some results for us here. Okay, so here's all the graphics that deal with temperature. And this is the one I'm looking for right here. So I'll click on it. It'll pop it open and show it to me. What we want to do is click on edit this chart, and it'll take us into the interface where we create and edit graphics. And so obviously I want to go to this publish and embed tab here at the very end. Anytime you make a change to a graphic, you want to republish the chart. If you haven't made any changes, you don't need to do that. Now we'll see below we have a couple options for sharing and embedding the chart. First, it gives us a URL we can use. This just will show us the graphic at a, a URL online. So you could send that to somebody if you wanted them to see it. Not too useful for our purposes, really. What we really want is this embed code here, which we can copy and paste directly into a story in WordPress, right where we want it to appear for this graphic to show up. So what we want is the responsive iframe option. So I'm just going to click that little radio button there. And I'll click Copy. And that'll go ahead and copy this iframe code for me. So I'm going to go over to our WordPress site. And I've got a test story already set up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just a test story with a little bit of dummy text, two paragraphs of dummy text in it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add our iframe code right here in between these two paragraphs. So one thing you want to make sure you're working in the text tab, not the visual tab. Um, and I'll go and I can literally just paste my iframe right there in between those two paragraphs. We save the draft. And preview it. can see that our graphic shows up right where we place the iframe. And it's um, interactive, it's fully responsive, um, it's going to work on phones, and um, yeah, these are really nice graphics that we can embed right inside of our website. All students should have the ability to embed these graphics as well. Um, if they're having problems, make sure that they're working here in the text tab. Um, but if for some reason their permissions are messed up, um, you can always do it for them. So there, I wanted to show you one other option. You can also send this embed code um, that we copy out of here directly to other news organizations in the wire if you want them to have access to the interactive graphic. Um, another option is you can send them a static version of the graphic. Down here, it gives you the option to export the chart as either a PNG, a PDF, or an SVG. Um, I would go ahead and use PNG option if you're going to be sending it along as a static graphic. Um, so it starts out, it's got a default width of 600. I might go ahead and make that a little bigger. I'll make it 1,000 pixels width. And just leave the rest of the options as are. And just click Download PNG. And this will download a static version of that graphic to your um, desktop, your downloads folder. I'll just go ahead and preview it so we can see it. So this is a nice version of the graphic. Obviously, the static graphic isn't going to have the same interactivity. Um, but if you're sending it to a place that seems you know, like they might prefer a static graphic or if they're going to use it in print, this is probably the better option. If you know it's going to be used um, online, then sharing the embed code is probably the best option. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much. Please give me a shout if you have any questions.